guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice, aka Candy, and today I'll be showing you how to preserve your medium to short length curly hair at night. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So guys, as I stated before, I'll be showing you in this video how to preserve your curls. One thing that I struggled with is how to preserve my curls at night, because sometimes I would wake up in the morning and my curls were just all over the place and I usually end up putting my hair into a bun because my curls did not look good and I didn't know how to get them back in that state because they were crushed and they weren't, they weren't done properly, they weren't wrapped properly. So as we all know, a lot of us go with the pineapple method, which definitely works, but I'm gonna show you a couple other methods that I like to use that are really simple and easy, and you can just fluff out your hair at the end of it, and you have beautiful, bouncy curls at the end of the day. So the first one, like I stated, is the pineapple. So I like to go in with these. So I'm not sure where I got this from, but I'm pretty sure you can pick this up at your local um, beauty supply store. But I love to use these. They're really stretchy. They don't take out your hair. I mean, minimal hair that comes out, but I love these. You can definitely use scrunchies um, that are specific for curly hair to put your hair up, but I like these. So to do a pineapple, you flip your hair over. And I just like to wrap everything and put this over. I like to do, mine's right in the front. So everything is up. Now if you have shorter curls, if your hair is shorter, sometimes the back will fall down. And even for me, sometimes the back will fall down as well. But this is a really easy way to wear your hair. And you can take your head tie, I have my head tie here. Do not judge me on my head tie guys, I've had this one the longest. I have like four of them. But I just take this, put it on my hair like so, and I wrap it wrap it like that and I just tuck everything in and I go to sleep just like this. So the curls are all tucked away. Everything is basically tucked away so I don't even have to worry about it and my ears are free. So that's the first one but if you have shorter curls that cannot go into a pineapple like this I definitely have some other methods. So let's take this out. So this is easily taken out and you just fluff out your hair. So this is what I would do in the morning. I just take them out, maybe add a little bit of water, add a little bit of product and my hair is out. Now, if you want to do a pineapple but can't, then we go to a double pineapple. So a double pineapple is basically taking half the, your, the front of your hair so you're going to take a, the ha first half of your hair and put it into a high ponytail so I use this and I wrap this around pretty lightly sometimes I do two sometimes I do three depending on how I want it how I feel and then I go in with another one and just do one in the back you can do it high, you can do it low, and you just wrap it around. And they're pretty loose. Now I will say that when I will say that when you wrap your hair with your head tie, with your bonnet, these curls back here are gonna be crushed. These curls up here are gonna be crushed, but once you take them out and fluff them, they will look really good. So I'm gonna show you how I wrap them. You just take your head tie and I like to do a triangle like this and then just put it right at the bottom and tie everything now usually I like to go with just one head tie you can go with a bonnet if you have longer curls 
or you just know you're a rough sleeper and your hair is just gonna come out but I'm pretty okay with just this head tie for the night I don't mind if some of my curls come out in the front or a little bit in the back I know I'm gonna be okay but this is how it looks and then in the morning I just unwrap this pull this out in the back fluff it out and I pull this one out in the front Ooh, technical difficulties tied it a little bit too much and that's what I do in the morning now I did forget to mention I am working with seven day old hair so I'm able to make my hair last seven days just by doing just by preserving my curls at night and my curls still look pretty good some of them are a little bit you know they're a little bit trying if you can see this one it's a little bit trying but majority of my hair is still good the, my hair still has bounce I like it now for my other one is the triple pineapple and I guess you can I call it the triple pineapple and this is one of my favorites I love to do my hair like this the most because it just I don't know it just works for me the best so what I do is I take my front section so I take this front section similar to what I did for the double pineapple and I take a little bit off from here and take this and I wrap this so very similar to the double pineapple that's that then I take the back and I split it in two and I take one of these I wrap this section and then I take my other one and wrap the next section now this works for me because I like to work in sections especially when I do I just I've just done my hair so I have these three these three little pineapples you can even call them a pineapple and two pom-poms but I love this it's make it's really easy to work with and if you're looking to stretch out your curls with any of these sometimes you can even just take these so your curls are stretched out with definition and preserved you just bring these all down just like so so you stretch them out a little bit if you know your your curls like to shrink you can just preserve it at night by stretching it out I don't normally do this I usually do this in the morning um, once my hair is restyled I'll just stretch it out a little bit while it dries and you could do it to the front as well but this is a cute little look and then you take your bonnet like usual now for this one, you can wear it like this, over, or you can even do it regular. Wait, your curls up here will be crushed much more than when it's like this. So you take everything and you wrap it just like that. And you're all good to go. So everything is wrapped up curls are sticking out a little bit which I don't mind and you can definitely as I stated before add a bonnet to it to make sure all your curls are tucked away so those are my tops those are my top favorite ways to preserve my hair now the last my last way is to braid everything so you can do this in sections you can do this one big braid depending on how your curls are so what I do is I take a big chunk. So I do my braids in big chunks. And sometimes you can braid it or you can twist it. So I'm going to show you a simple two strand braid. Or actually, I'm sorry, this is a twist, not a braid. So this is a simple twist. And just twist the curls as they are. Add a little water and a little product just so your curls are not super dry and breaking as you're doing them and just braid everything down 
So I like to braid it in the sections that I do it. Usually I do this section first, then I cut this section right here, and I do this section. Now I usually will braid everything if I know that my curls aren't looking good and I'm going to just put it in a bun the next day. I'll do this or if I'm just really lazy and just don't feel like preserving my curls, my curls are just giving me a hard time, I will put them in these quick little twists and I will tie my hair and usually I'll do, I won't do it forward this way because everything is flat so I'll just Tuck it like this, put everything back, put it behind my ears, and I'll tie it normally. And I'll just push everything up if your curl, if your hair is coming out of the head tie, just push everything in and tie it. So guys, those are my four quick methods on how you can preserve your curls at night, especially for medium to short length curly hair. I know it's a struggle out there sometimes. I know I went through my struggle, so I'm hoping this video reaches out to someone and touches them that I'm able to spread some knowledge to you guys. So if you guys like this video, definitely give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to comment because I love reading your comments so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!